generations. And now, the power of two restores the one. We got a bidet! Hey everybody and welcome to my channel Diet in the Rough. Today I want to talk about my thoughts on the the season two shift and change that happened with MLB The Show 24. So if you're not aware about what I'm talking about, uh, this year instead of you know progressively getting or is, well I, they, they've changed it so many times. So instead of getting a whole bunch of 99s up front and then you know changing and having the season one or like the previous season with the current season, being able to be use those players. It's specifically season one. You can use season one player season two. You can use season two and season three. You can use season three. So um, I'm here to give my thoughts on what I think about the change and uh, how it's going. You know, what are some of the good things? What are some of the bad things? So on and so forth. So uh, I would say like right off the bat, I like before the game even started, like when after we got done with MLB The Show 23 and looking at the structure that they had where there were so many 99s, I had thought that, hey, you know, what if the season thing did happen? What if it reset at some point? And then that way we use more of the, the lower diamond cards and stuff so that, you know, it's not always seen like when I played 23, I saw the same players on every single team because just those were the best players and everybody used them. And it's cool to see more diverse teams based on, you know, of course, the cards that people have, but also what captain combinations they use, um, because depending on what combinations they have, they can do some really, really cool um, stat changes. So I thought that would be neat. Um Looking at how it's been, uh, there was one comment I saw on Twitter and it was like, you know, the, the, the reset just kind of pulled us out of it. And I kind of agree. Uh, just looking at the content that's been coming out, I kind of feel that, you know, I, I don't feel that urgency or that sense of like really wanting to get in there. I haven't really seen much content that was different or unique compared to some past stuff. So like we get new events, we get new conquest maps, new mini seasons, but they're, they're all kind of a shell of what, what's already come before. So like, even when you look at the city connect conquest maps, for example, cause I do those on the channel all the time, the goals for those are pretty much all the same. It's just complete the entire map, get every single spot. You know, there, of course, there's like five different things laid out, but if you put them under an, one umbrella, it's just take care of them all. There's that we don't have any missions anymore in those conquest maps where it's like steal this many fans or, you know, uh, take out this. Um, I'm just going to call it a base, take out this base with by the first or second turn or anything like that. Uh, so a lot of the things that would make these maps either unique or diverse, they're really not there anymore. A lot of the things are just complete this map. I will give them a little credit, though, because I was noticing with season one that when the chapter stuff would turn over, we would basically get like one massive map. And then we'd have to we get maybe one or two other ones kind of along the way. And I had put in my survey for feedback like, yo, I am noticing that you are just dumping a huge map and then hoping that that lasts us. And then so we've gotten a couple of different ones like we had the Father's Day one recently and 
there was there well there was the the maps for each of the chapter ones like the anchor uh i honestly don't know what some of those other ones were supposed to be uh based on what they looked like um but we also had the the minnesota city city connect so we're getting more and more maps where it where it's not just you know uh the same thing over and over again but at the same time to a point they are because i had asked to have smaller ones throughout instead of just one big one the the objectives are still just complete the map you know and i feel like i feel like they're trying to reach a wider audience with that because you know if, if the more difficult the things are in there the harder that they are to complete and that could turn people away and really we want you know everybody to have a good time playing the game and winning and so i kind of feel like there there's some weird compensation happening there where 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 we're not being unique or diverse with those maps and the objectives on purpose uh, I, I I hate to say that because it sounds like they're being lazy, but it's what I've been noticing. Uh, same thing with the mini seasons. You know, last year, one of the things that I thought was really cool that they were doing it, but they haven't done it this year, at least not much. They had uh, mini seasons where like you had, you had to use all left handers or you had to use all right handers. You know, they, they, they could have really built on that where they could have said, you know, you have to use all players that have a minimum of this speed or this minimum of a uh, arm strength or something like that to have like a whole bunch of players that can really chuck the ball or a bunch of players that are really fast. They they abandoned that. And I thought that that was kind of a, a, a dumb thing to do to abandon it, because now all we've had, we've we've had one of them that is considered unique in my opinion but i forget what it is it has the like takashi card art on the the front of it but uh other than that one i think that was the legends and flashbacks mini season but the other ones that we have are team affinity season one team affinity season two and classic mini seasons None of those are unique. None of them have a fun twist to them. And so I am really starting to agree with the people uh, that I see on Twitter where it's like, you know, it, it's starting to get kind of boring. There needs to be something to inject into the game that is different from the norm and just to get us, you know, back into it. And it's not going to be something where it's like, uh, your favorite thing from the past is returning like the extreme program or whatever. Like the, from what I see, cause and, you know, I didn't start until I didn't start playing the game. I would say religiously until like MLB 21, I think. Yeah. Cause it was the one with Tatis on the cover. And so, you know, I'm fairly still new to this stuff and everybody keeps saying we want it to be like the old games. Like, 18 19 20 and so i didn't get to experience what those were like um, but you know they keep pulling from different things that we've done in the past and that's just not moving the game forward and so i kind of feel like the the i feel like season two is a little little bit better than season one just because i feel like we are getting some more conquest maps but we're not getting anything big with many seasons I don't play events or battle royale, but they seem to be they're, they're based on what I've heard and what I've seen from the community. There's not a whole lot that's different there. Uh, so I don't know. It really begs the question. You know, it's it's ba at the core of all these games. It is baseball, right? How many different unique things can you do with a baseball game? I think is is where the, the line is kind of drawn, but clearly there's something that they did in the past that was really good you know back then because people are asking for the structure of the past to come back so i don't really know what to say with with that perspective but my hope is that you know something comes maybe in season three i don't really know if they're going to do anything in season two that could boost or redeem but maybe go off on like a hurrah with season three. Now, 
a lot of people are saying the game is dead, you know, X, Y, Z about bad things about the game. The game is not dead. I always find people to play with online. Uh, that's what I would consider the game. Like if a game is dead, that means I can't hop on and I can't find someone to play with. That's never the case. What I will say, though, is I get it. Like, I get it from a, a content standpoint because it just seems like the same thing is happening and happening and happening. I don't see how they could completely throw away what they're doing. Like, they're not going to say, oh, we're not doing season three based on community feedback. They're definitely going to follow their overarching roadmap and then probably try little small things along the way. And my hope, like I was talking about with that creativity with the mini seasons, stuff like that, throw that even in the conquest. Like you can only use right handers on this conquest map. I mean, they have different ways of, you know, making sure that you, you know, you, there, there's ways that they are dictating what players you can use in different modes. I don't know why they couldn't do that there. But I don't know. I'm optimistic. I'm hopeful. I hope that something comes about in the, I would say, the second half of the game's life. The game, you know, after season three is basically going to be a, a roundup. You know, all the all the stuff you didn't get in the past, try to get it now. So season one, two, and three is where all the, the new content is probably most likely going to be. So I hope that they figure something out. Maybe try something new here with the, the second half of season two where they can maybe build off of that going into season three. So I don't know. I hope it gets fixed. And definitely if you want to stick along with me Along the way, make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications. Drop us a like if you liked the video and drop us a comment letting us know your thoughts on the gameplay so far. What do you think about the reset with Season 2? I, Even though I had wondered about it being a good idea, part of me doesn't think it's a good idea. I think, and this might be what's already been done in the past, and maybe this is the thing that people want to come back. I think it should be a, a, a huge progression. Like, I think it should be starting with the low diamonds in the beginning and then head towards those 99s at the very end. I know 99s are exciting, but if you put too many in the game, it's going to make it dull and people are going to use the same players all the time. So I think to reestablish that uh, awesome feeling of pulling a 99 in a pack and stuff like that, I think that should probably be further down the line. So. That's my opinion. And then as always, everybody, thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.